Yo guys, it is finally here, Firefox Quantum. So this was a browser which was in beta for a very long time and Mozilla was working very heavily on it. I was reading a lot of tech reviews about this and a lot of people were, were basically really hype about this, like more hype than I was <laughs> about this browser. And I'm personally a Chrome user, but I do use Firefox occasionally. So I decided to give this a try and to see whether or not, you know, maybe it's time to switch from Chrome. So I did a very unscientific benchmark of both the browsers. Now, just to tell you, I made it as fair as possible. I installed them both on my Surface laptop, did a clean install of both browsers, no extensions or no plugins on either browser, and both were the 64-bit version. For Chrome, it's the latest version, version 62, and obviously for Firefox, it's Firefox 57, also known as Firefox Quantum. So the first benchmark that I test was called ARES6, and it basically tests JavaScript functionality within the web applications. Now, for this benchmark, Firefox Quantum scored 82 milliseconds, while Chrome basically did half of that, 36 milliseconds. And for this benchmark, lower is better. The second benchmark I tried was called Motion Mark, and it basically tests WebGL functionality. Now for this benchmark, Firefox Quantum scored 119.26, while Chrome scored 191.80. And for this one, higher is better. And finally, the final benchmark I test was called Jetstream, which is another suite of JavaScript application benchmarks. For that benchmark, both the browsers basically scored the same at around 146. So from a pure benchmark standpoint, you can obviously see that the Quantum did not beat Chrome by any standards. In fact, Chrome did win in the first two benchmarks. However, this is subject to change. Again, I'm using this on a laptop with eight gigs of RAM and an i5. So maybe on your hardware, it would be different. And benchmarks don't always tell the whole story. So as far as real world performance between both of these browsers, they're both good. Now, when it came to certain things like playing YouTube videos, both of them had the same CPU usage. It's a little bit odd though, that with Firefox browser, I don't get a 4K option within YouTube, but that's like no big deal. It seems to be that if I load web pages from cache, so if I visit the page, close down the browser, and then revisit the page, it seems to load a little bit quicker on Firefox Quantum than it does on Chrome. And I kind of noticed that consistently. The only interesting thing is when it comes to memory. So I opened up eight tabs on both browsers and I opened up the same websites and I opened them all up, went through all of them, let it sit for a minute, let the RAM cool down and looked at memory usage. Surprisingly, Chrome had less memory usage than Firefox Quantum, which is not what I expected at all. And again, these were the same sites with basically everything else the same. Now again, maybe this was just a one-time deal and you know, it's not a big difference, it's only like a difference of 200 megabytes, but still, it was a difference. So at the end, I do think Firefox Quantum is a nice redesign of the previous Firefox browser. I always thought Firefox browser as being kind of outdated. It felt very Linuxy, if that makes sense. Um, but this new one is very sleek and looks much better. So like I said, at the end of the day, both these browsers are great. You're not really gonna go wrong with either browser. Quantum definitely has this huge advantage. It's a nice redesign. In my personal testing, I did not find it any faster than Google Chrome within the benchmarks and everyday usage. But again, your mileage might vary. So guys, tell me what you think about Firefox Quantum. If you think that, you know, I'm just full of BS, tell me in the comments down below. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.